This one's for the poets. I know you're here. You're sitting in the crowd, knuckle cracking, foot tapping, finger snapping, waiting for your moment. Spotlight is the home you never felt like you had. Your arts do generation. Revellers in a nation that tells you fine arts are a phase lost between an index and a textbook page. I think about y'all in your formulated thesis. I pretend to paint. I feel your past experiences press cold against my skull like a pistol. I see the empty spaces between your names and play out stories. Little sister says imagination is the most limitless form of power. Just anybody turns the twisted circuits of their brains into quatrains for the moment. So I think about what got you so afraid. What pushed the limits of your refrains and let them spill in uncharted ways across the page? What the hell did you go through? And I tell my story all the time, the way mental illness slipped the floors of my escape routes and covered the exit signs with red tape. I couldn't live in my own head anymore because my own head was unsafe, but it's not worse than some of these stories. Poets, we are the jewels burn of our own minds. There's this unwritten novel wedge between the vowels and consonants of your slam poetry handles and self-made labels, and maybe you'll never tell that story. But you'll build your glory out of the fragments you'll let people cut themselves on me. I can't move on to the unsaid shit. To real shit. To AM shit. Twice a week therapy appointments shit. <laughs> That's the power you hold. Those are the secrets you'll never have to sell to an audience. I am asking. Poets. Writers. Revolutionaries. Minds with an edge dry enough to crumble under pressure. You'll never have to tell me why the shards of your spoken word will hold up a month from now, or why you're still bleeding from this year old wound. I am not asking you to break up your trauma with a fork to make it easier for us to swallow. I get it. I'm not asking you to pretend like three words and metaphors count as self medication. I'm just asking you to step out of your house, to exist with me under a hundred gazes and people demanding to know what we ever did to earn ourselves here. Feel the world as a body electric under your feet to swallow the sun and let light shine through your senses. I'm asking you to be scared. I'm asking you to lay down the stances of your last work in progress and let them drown in the movement of a crowd. I can't breathe in crowds, and right now, neither can you. Breathe with me, breathe with me, breathe with me. I wrote this poem at 9 p.m. that week night, showing the prospect of vivisecting myself on the stage. Between fight or flight, I always thought I'd choose flight. But I've realized that writing and life are two different things, and writing about life is one of the ways poets can live without living. And by standing here, we're defying everyone who ever said we can't make anything out of the world we are existing in. We're lighting the way. We're invading the spotlight. We are building a stage out of things nobody else would be willing to take in. A hundred poets with their feet on the ground are raising a city. Make your mark in it. Stop waiting. Scream, kick, put up a fight. This is your moment. Breathe it. This one's for the poets. <laughs>